So, let's build a house. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Saturday Night Factional Fight, and we're going to do it. We're going to build a house. Are you excited? <laughs> my name is Brian, and this is my brother, Adam. Hey, how's it going? And what the heck happened to your hair? <laughs> Where did it go? Well, um, I was part of an event called Shave to Save, and... Uh, I shaved my head in front of a whole bunch of people in order to raise money for cancer research. Also, oh, it was for a good cause, so... It was for a good cause, yeah. <laughs> so at least, at least you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to build this house. Uh, let's recap a little. Last episode, we were going to build a house, but of course we didn't have the materials. So it ended up being a material gathering episode. And we got all of them. We managed to get enough planks... Uh, thanks to a, a a friendly guy that watched our videos. I don't know if we want to drop a name. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. <laughs> Thank you, Evander, for giving us all those uh, planks, or helping us out with the planks. And uh, we managed to get enough stone bricks and mortar. Uh, you did the math last time, so if we don't have enough, then I'm blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we made more than enough, so... We should be good. I hope so. And as you can see, it is nighttime, but fortunately, uh, we brought some lamps to light, light up this episode. So let's get we, started. We always seem unlucky, and we start the record button, and all of a sudden it's dark. <laughs> it's <and> nighttime. <laughs> worm nights are freaking long, so we thought we'd bring some lamps along. Yeah, to lighten up this episode a little bit. Uh, so let's let's recap a little. We started with this area uh, let's say in order to build a house you first have to have the right skill and I think we talked about the formula in another episode but do you, can you just say it quickly what the formula is in order to tell how big a house you can make yeah so your carpentry skill will determine how big of a house or you masonry. can make or masonry it depends on actually I don't even know if it depends like I think it's me I don't know maybe anyway, somebody it's one or the other and uh the number of tiles that are inside of your house mm. plus the number of walls. So you add them up? You add them up and that has to be less than your carpentry skill. So it's the tiles plus walls. Like I'm wondering, could you build a stone house that's really large if you have a really high carpentry skill? Yeah, but it's and I masonry. think it's because you can plan a house, right? The house isn't stone and the house isn't like uh, wood, yeah. right? It's it just it's just a plan, and it's the highest skill. So, I, like masonry, I mean, one thing we I don't know if we talked about in order to actually like build a stone wall, your masonry has to be at least thirty skill, mm -hmm. right? So you could be given a plan this big, or you could make a tiny plan, but you won't be able to build a stone wall unless your masonry is at least. 30. Mm -hmm. That means that you have to have premium because uh, without premium then your skills are capped at 20. That's right. That's right. So don't be a cheapskate. Buy some premium. Uh, but if you but you can still build wooden houses. There's no, there's yeah, you no can. requirement of wooden houses. So let's see what we have. Well, it looks like we got a friendly crocodile coming in. Uh-oh. So as oh. uh, this... Oh, I just fell right down. Oh, but I'll come back up me. and I ditched you. <laughs> I'm coming. All right. So let's. All right. So let's just talk about this house. The house is going to take quite a while to construct. Each wall takes 20 bricks and 20 mortar for the stone uh, for the stone walls, and the uh, the wooden walls will take 20 planks. Now with the wood walls, you need to have either a mallet or a hammer. 
Mm -hmm. And with the stone walls, you need to have a trowel, which is a blacksmithing tool. And I guess we'll talk about a little as we go along. Uh, a couple more things that have changed. When we initially planned out this house, we wanted to have. Uh, at the time, you were allowed to build houses on a slope. Oh, you're giving me mm. a trowel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, this is something that I'm actually quite upset about. I'm not so upset. But I'm I can understand the reasoning, right? They changed it because of. Uh, because they were implementing multi-story housing and I guess they had to make a hard choice. Uh, they must have had no time or as much time as they wanted to code in the multi-story housing and making it work with sloped houses. So they decided to leave it out and that made it so any houses built from now on cannot be built on a sloped house. But I'm hoping that maybe in the future that they could look look after that or look over that again because this game is great because of its customization because of the different things that we're able to create and to limit you to take away something that we once were able to do like sloped houses it does feel a little little off like counterproductive you know give us one thing take away something else but at least for the moment, we will be happy with multi-story housing coming soon. We'll make a video about that when it comes, or in the future. I think by the time that this video is released, <laughs> multi-story housing will be out. So yeah, all yeah. right. Okay. So I am going to start in this corner, and while I do that, maybe you can talk a little bit about your strategy okay so and I'm gonna start the strategy which is um, something that I can't take credit for this because um, I was helping one of our friends Zalafir build a house a while back and mm -hmm. he did this uh, essentially uh, what he was doing was he just dropped a whole bunch of bricks and mortar all over the place like everywhere and this made it so that you didn't have to um, walk from place to place with these bricks. And as we've seen before, bricks take like a lot of, they, they weigh a lot. So when you're carrying them, you walk very, very slowly. Um, so if you spend some time going around uh, the house, dropping bricks where you want the stone walls to be built, then you know, it'll make walking, you won't actually have to walk around at all. You just and do you remember place. where we wanted to have the stone I believe that we wanted the stone along the front if I'm not mistaken so all no along one. the front yeah lots of windows yeah I think that every if we, yeah lots of windows so, right. so as you can see when I right click this this wall this framework right now I've activated the trowel and it's going to give me all the options when I activate a trowel to build any of the stone house options. If I activate a mallet, it's going to give me the options to put down a wooden wall or to start a wooden wall. So in this case, I have the option of building a wall, which is just a flat wall, with no window, a window, a single t a door, a double door, or an arched wall. You get the same option options whether building a stone house and a wooden house. So you said window, so I'm gonna start windows here all along the front, at least give it a start. As you can see, because I started it, it gives you a little indication here that you, you're building a stone wall and it also tells you, if you examine it, that you see a window under construction. So let's keep going with that. So I know that we've talked about it before. But I was wondering if you can remind people about what, how do I word this? If you can remind people, like, 
the benefit of having a house. Mm, yeah, that's right. We did talk about this in the last episode. Um, I mean, besides the fact that it protects you from uh, the wilderness, like the the crocodile, like that crocodile that walked through the wall. Once we have the house up, we can walk into the house and um, be safe from that crocodile, which is actually a really big thing for newbies. A crocodile will just eat you. Uh, but besides that, um, we're on this on the freedom server, which means it's not PvP. People can't generally take our stuff so long as it's either on our deed or uh, it's in our house. So no one can, like you put something in your house and you're holding, like before, I don't think we mentioned in this episode, when you finalize a house, and you can watch our previous episode in, when we actually do finalize this house, uh, when you do that, you get a writ or a piece of paper in your inventory. And that piece of paper uh, gives you ownership of the house and you can freely trade it with another player giving that player a house as well. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And that writ has a bunch of permissions on it, right? Yeah. Like management options, I guess you could yeah. call it. It basically allows you to let whoever you want into the house. Uh, it makes it so... Um... And if, if a person's not on that writ, if you don't then even if they can come inside, and this is my understanding, correct me if mm -hmm. I'm wrong, even if they they can come inside, they can't take anything. Yeah, as long as their name is not on the writ, then anything that's on the ground or in the chest that you have there, everything, they can't really touch it or take it. Okay. So, so it is sort of a, a way a to protect your things, yeah. I mean... This is really only applying to the freedom servers. I, I've never been to a PvP server, so my, I would only guess, and I'm pretty sure that uh, if you were able to get into somebody's house on a PvP server, that then you would be able to just take whatever. Okay. So as I'm starting all these little walls, is there any other benefit to... Uh, having a house yeah uh, you can build a bed in a house and actually that's the only place you can build a bed uh, properly that's right that's right and yeah, I think we, we talked, talked about this last time yeah um, so that gives you sleep bonus so like double XP um, uh, a lot of people like to have a house for the fact that they can just personalize the area um, mm -hmm. You know, put your name on it, furnish it, make it nice looking, etc. Are you able to go in and, and pick up some mortar and put them in these piles? Yep, I'm doing it as okay. we speak. Thank you. I'm running low. Uh, there's mortar. I sort of oh, like. Oh, uh, the other benefit, of course, that we brought up in the last episode is. Uh, things decay slower in a house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a big I, deal yeah I'm so annoyed when like, we we have all our bulk storage bins outside because somebody likes to work outdoors <laughs> yeah and, yeah. <laughs> that, and yeah. all of our bulk storage bins get so damaged oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I personally don't I mean I put my workstations outside. I like to be outside when I'm working. Um, I find that maybe this might change in multi-story. I'm not sure. Um, but I find that in, when I'm inside, it's very claustrophobic. Uh, the ceilings are very low and, uh, you know, yeah. the windows are these tiny little windows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean... Some people like to work indoors, some people like to work outdoors. What can you yeah, do? It's just the way it is. <laughs> I, mean, I know some people who swear by working indoors. They'd rather be indoors. And, I mean, I guess yeah, for them it's, it's a piece of mind right? of keeping things safe. And Yeah, I don't know. Oop, I feel like as more. long as you're on a deed, it's fine. But yeah, things decay slower, so I guess that's a benefit. Yeah, that's true. And I think we we brought up a lot of these points in the last episode, so it's getting to that point right now where 
what do we talk about? What do we talk about for houses when we talked so much about houses in the last episode while we built this? Yeah, so, so one thing that we can talk about is the construction of the different kinds of... Uh, I mean, you'd already mentioned the different kinds of... of uh, Walls. Oh, like here. Okay. Just, just popped just, in the yeah, before, house. before we go on. Our yeah. first wall is done. <laughs> Let's <laughs> moment of silence, please. Nice. Thank you. Uh, All right. So, what were you saying? I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. So you're talking about oh, yeah, what yeah, we no, could talk about? about. Like, like uh, okay. So here's an example. Um, Mm -hmm. Relatively recently, I guess it was within the last bunch of months, they added these uh, things called double doors. Because before that, you were not allowed to bring in carts with horses into a house. That's right. And people complained I quite a bit that. about this. I mean, it was like a very big um, limitation to houses, not being able to bring out your horse and cart in the house. Because, like, like, what I'm doing right now is taking a bunch of planks and um, laying them on the ground. But if this house was done, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Uh, and a lot of people wanted houses to be like storage areas for their for their stuff. That's this right. Protects it, and so uh, it was very difficult to transport, let's say, a thousand planks into your house because you would have to carry them, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which was really a bit a time. <laughs> So um, a while ago, they decided to implement these things called double doors, and the double doors allowed for carts to enter the house. Uh, now, and thank you very much for that. Thank you very much, Rolf. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a huge improvement. Uh, it made things a lot one better. One of the now members. Can, yeah. Um, now there is one downfall to that, and that is there is no reason to build a single door anymore. Like absolutely no reason. Because a double door does exactly it's just the same. Customization. I Why? <laughs> Some people want the single door. There might be no benefit, except for the way that it looks. Is that a problem for you? <laughs> I mean, sure. If anybody wants to build a single door, but you're gonna find that that'll limit, you know, the limit. What you can do with that door. Yeah, that's true. Although, I mean, if you already know what you want to do with that door, then maybe a single door is fine. Maybe you don't never want to bring a, a cart in there because you can still ride a horse inside mm -hmm. through a single door. Yeah. And then you can talk about maybe while you, while you're on this roll, <laughs> talk a little bit about uh, the addition of arch arch walls and what mm -hmm. that did for the game. Mm hmm. This is very recent. Um, you know, prior it's actually to not as recent as we think. Really? I'm pretty sure it was sometime e during the summer or before the summer of 2012. If I can just stop you there, I need uh, to be put on the writ in order to help. That is true, and there's something yep. that I can show you guys. Here's the writ in my inventory. I'm going to manage it. I've got a whole bunch of people here. These Here's are all your friends. Griffith. The friends list. And. Alright, you're good to go. Excellent. So, again, arched walls? Yeah, so um, prior to arched walls, what people would do is build a plan and just sort of leave it like that. like, Or, or maybe just, you know, finish. Right, Almost just make it look wall. pretty much like it is now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They would they would finish all but one, like they'd put in 19 bricks or whatever, just to get the quality up a little bit, and they would just leave it like that. And this gave a nice open look to the house. I saw some nice land bridges, like they would arch the land, and then they would build a house over it, but they would leave it all like unfinished walls, and it would look like this nice looking bridge. Um, That's right. So people just did this, and uh, I guess eventually. Oh, I see. I need mortar. You do. Eventually, they decided to build the arch walls, or mm -hmm. to give us that option. 
So now you can actually build arched walls and it you can finish them and imp them and they become part of the, you know the the house but they're arched. Now what's we're the going benefit? I mean the benefit is that you have an you have this arched look like it's basically an open house an open concept, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like an open concept. Uh, now it it lends itself to a little bit more creativity. Um, we're going to be using arch walls here in this particular house to make it mm -hmm. make this area look like it's two completely separate houses. Um, but in fact, it is yes, one single are. house. It'll. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's you'll have to, to see nice. when it's done. <laughs> it's hard to visualize or explain what it's going to be looking like when. Uh, that house really looks like this. I can't believe how freaking fast you're doing this. <laughs> well, it's because of your trowel. You're the blacksmith. I can't take any credit for that. I suppose. <laughs> now, a couple things that I, I want to bring up because I don't think I have yet. Uh, the first thing is... Oh, there's no more stick bricks here. Mm -hmm. The first You'll thing... You might have to move a little bit. There's a yeah. pile back behind you. I can build it from here. The first thing I want to mention is that, as you can see, I'm building... Wait a minute. I don't need to activate any of the materials in this case. And all I have to do is make sure that either my trowel or mallet is activated. And then it allows me to pick this continued you know, wall or arched wall or whatever the wall is. And it will automatically use the materials that are sitting in my inventory which is a great way to do it it would be highly annoying to have to <laughs> to have to activate every individual material mm -hmm. and not the tool uh, the second thing is the way that I'm doing it right now is not the best way or the easiest way for you there's actually a better way to do it and I don't know if I want to bring it up now and that is you can actually create a key bind for continuing a house or mm -hmm. continuing stuff right maybe I should I just so. do it in order to show you guys if I, have a, I have a question about this this is something I always mess up I already messed up that wall by the way you already messed up <sighs> that wall by the way yeah I made it a stone wall. Well, but in any case, uh, I'm trying to figure this out. Good. Was this going to be an arch wall, or I can't remember at all. I've already put put them to all down. All the all the. Oh, continued arch wall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, just finished. Uh, I I made it foolproof for you. What happened? No, no, no. <laughs> you you didn't. I yeah. Uh, I I started that right. wall, and I don't Forget know what it. I was thinking. You are going to do any of the finished ones? <laughs> <laughs> I know, this is and what I think. I'm going to do... <laughs> I'm going to start all of them. Okay, you start them all. And in that case, I need nails. Is that the thing that we're missing? We need nails? One large nail for each one. Did I make large nails? Whoop. That was an odd flicker. Yeah, I see it again. This is not good. What is going on? Odd. All right, we forgot large nails. All right. We can deal with that. <laughs> we don't need a lot of them, but we forgot them. Other than I think my screen did a little flickery thing just a second ago. So in the meantime, I will continue building this stone wall. Whoa. I have it written down here how many large nails there are. And there's a possibility that... No, I mean, your math is pretty solid. Yeah, only 24 of them, so that should not take very long. All that planning down the drain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, just one thing. Um... Mm -hmm. Can you destroy that wall? Can I destroy that wall? Yes. I guess we're going to show you guys how to destroy something. Mm -hmm. You can, but I need... The best way for me to do it would be if I could borrow your large mall. 
You can use a bunch of things. I've used a saw once to destroy a wood fence. It was an incomplete wood fence. I did not... <laughs> I did not break into somebody's place or anything. Uh, I put down a oh, wood fence. Alright, so he's given me his maul. And all I have to do is activate it. <laughs> Cross your fingers. And destroy the wall. Oh yeah, I'm a Venoran follower. <laughs> she won't care. She won't care. Let's let's turn that off. Destroy the wall anyway. Yeah, that's as far as far as I know. It's always whoa, that's loud. As far as I know, it's always a thirty-second timer. Is that right? I don't mm -hmm. think I've ever seen it. Uh, what's going to happen is because it's incomplete, it's probably only going to take one hit. Yeah, I'm hoping anyway. The, you do need a specific no it's not going to take one hit what's its damage 1.5 no this is mainly because we're off a deed right now ah uh, yes if we were on a deed it would be um, you would get a mayor bonus which allows you to destroy walls at a much quicker pace probably about the 10 times the other less. thing we can do is make this one on both sides stone. Look how funny. You really don't want to do that, do you? Oh, that one made it up to four. Okay. <laughs> you want me to see? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break and we'll be right back after this damage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Adam. Yeah. Well, that's what happens in Worm. Quite uh, the harsh consequence when you make a mistake. All right, we did it. We corrected your mistake of putting <laughs> that putting that wall the stone wall in when it was supposed to be a wooden one we corrected the mistake of forgetting the large nails and uh, top that off you made me uh, iron fence bar mm -hmm. so there you go <laughs> iron fence completed yay so at least we got nice. that so uh, now that we have the large nails made, wow, it's very bright. Now that we have the large males, nails made, I took them all, okay? <laughs> and you are not allowed, <laughs> you're not allowed to start a wall. I will Agreed. start them. Uh, do you I want, do you just tell me what you want on all these walls and you just continue them after I start them? You want just. You want just uh, windows Let's just everywhere? Them. Let's just make them windows. You you really hate the indoors, don't you? I don't <laughs> like the claustrophobic nature of these houses. Windows it is. Nice. You know what? You know what's really funny? What's that? Uh, and I did, I did not know this, this before. Every single wall doesn't change for wooden walls once you start the wall let me put this another way you know how with the stone walls when you start the wall it changes its look we are losing Adam again mm. that's what's happening <laughs> yeah all right, let me ask you the question again. Do you, you know, when st with stone walls, mm -hmm. that when you start one, it changes the look of the the unfinished wall. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, do yeah. that with wooden walls. You notice that? Hmm. 
It looks exactly the same. You can't tell other than mousing over it. Yeah, I guess. One's uh, called a wooden wall plan, the other one's called a missing wall. But they okay. look exactly the same. I guess because it looks already wooden. I guess so, but maybe in the future they can make it look different. We already had a mishap today. <laughs> I know it wasn't related to a that. A mishap? <laughs> a few mishaps. That was. No, I just thing. noticed that. I, I never noticed that before. Uh, it's just an interesting thing. Ooh, a big green, <laughs> big green mountain lion. Maybe wants to play. I'm carrying I've a lot of things. Yeah, I've said it before. It's like worm is very harsh when it comes to making mistakes. Yeah, we just spent, you know, half an hour at least. Yeah, destroying, destroying the wall that you put up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Who knows how much. <laughs> How much time we lost? Let me see. Wooden wall plan, missing wall, missing wall. You want? You still want uh, windows from behind here too? Nah, uh, we could probably. You want to switch it up a little bit? Skip the windows back there. We don't I need guess the windows. We'll just do walls back here. Yeah. To look into. Look at a. It's like awesome. those windows in the apartment buildings in the downtown core where you look at the window and it's like a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be too yeah, nice with it. We don't need that. Ooh, how right. many do I need to put in before I can move fast again? I Let's didn't I distribute these piles nicely. Y you had a strategy and everything, and then you messed up your own strategy. Yep. Ooh. Oh, I see. Alright, so I'm not sure because of that that damaged uh, place how much how much talking we uh, had to get rid of mm -hmm. how much of our conversation we had to get rid of so and I'm gonna drop some of these two for you because I don't need 40 there you go ah so it wasn't it was you who took them it all. was me that took them all <laughs> <laughs> but now they're in a good spot right yeah and you were going along with me too <laughs> I didn't even notice. Uh, Alright, windows, windows. I gotta like... I know there's gonna be another mistake with this wall if I don't focus. You want windows everywhere. Yeah. Measure twice, cut once. And you want just the wall in the back, which makes sense. Hmm. Unless... No, just the wall in the back. Window and window. So I'm not sure how much of the conversation was lost. So I'm wondering if we should talk a little bit about uh, the floor, the floors, the different kinds of floors again. Hmm. And just kind of do a recap, because maybe maybe it didn't make the cut. Uh, so basically, there's right now. It it might improve by the time you guys watch this, but there's four different kinds of floors. There's how many different kinds of floors are there? There's slabs, cobblestone. Slab slabs are like concrete they look very flat and uh, uh, cobblestone yeah cobblestone is like um, yeah just like what it sounds like you know like the cobblestone roads not so flat but they're easy to make uh, floorboards floorboards are my personal favorite uh, they're also completely flat but uh, they take quite a bit of effort to make and gravel <laughs> We're not Why even going to tell you what they are. <laughs> Why are you even bringing them up in this episode? Uh, <laughs> gravel is like for outdoors. You want to make a little gravel well, road. It's great sure. for like cottage areas and you know, little little road with a picket fa fence, which they apparently are adding soon. But they look 
you added uh, you, you added a couple uh, a gravel road that led to our old deed puzzles, uh, and that was a good use of of gravel. It w it was like a winding road that was very that. um, you know, that was gravel, right? That was gravel. It was, and that's a plug for our puzzles. Go visit it. Mm -hmm. Go I'm visit it. It's like a, it's part of the experience. <laughs> the gravel road that you built uh, through the olive tree forest. You can Ooh. you feel like you're getting lost. But yeah, no, uh, floorboards are my personal favorite. They look the nicest. Um, there is an, a level of mm -hmm. pride that you take in a nicely floorboarded area because floorboards are painful to make. And they don't seem that painful to make, do they? Like when you look at one floorboard and you're thinking, come on, like 20-something floorboards, 20-something planks, I should say, and either a small or large nail. I will mm -hmm. put the real thing up here because I don't have it up right now. Yeah, um, it's like 21 planks and a nail or something like that, or 24 planks, I can't remember. One or the bad. other. Yeah, but when you're starting out, the action time is like 17 seconds or 15 seconds per board, and you multiply that by 20, you add in the fact that you could fail, and you probably will very often, um, so 15 seconds a floorboard, 20 floorboards. And the math expert says? You are trying to fill an area that is 100 tiles wide, or 100 tiles in total. Why would you fill yeah. in an area that's 100 tiles in total? Okay, I don't know, whatever. How let's, many say, tiles let's say is, is 10, even. Like, let's say you're yeah. building a smallish house. Yeah, okay, a smallish house. I mean, 10's still a pretty big house. Sure. But let's say 10, for example, to just give an idea. I don't know. What are we talking? My mental math is terrible. <laughs> but we're talking, we're, we're, we're talking hours. Hours, especially if you're starting out and you have low skills. And, you know, I, yeah, you're talking hours of floorboard making for 10 floorboards and then inserting them. Yeah. So, when, okay, now let's let's talk about the con contrast, which is, okay. uh, let's say we decide to put slabs in the in the in the house. Yeah, sure. Slabs are like uh, a few rock shards for each slab. And one action, boom! One ac slab, boom! <laughs> yeah, there's a slab. Put it down. It's done. Uh, same with cobblestone. It's like oh, and all you have to do, so for every single floor that's in the game right now. Oh look, for me, the automatic roof just popped in. And I don't know if we've talked about this, but we will after the the floorboards. So every single every single uh, slab or slab, every single floor, all you have to do is activate that floor, right click the tile, and then say pave. Mm -hmm. And then like seconds skill. later, it's on the ground. I don't think it's failable. This is including house houses, as you notice. Not f like you can't fail. I don't even think we brought that up yet. You cannot fail an action for building a house as well as paving the ground. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That that's I'm pretty my sure experience. you're right. But uh, when you're just starting out, houses take quite a while. I recall 20 plus second action timers. 20 seconds, I think, yeah. 20 seconds. They do yeah, take but quite a while. Going back to the floorboards, uh, if you're just starting out and you want to start making money, floorboards is uh, a good way of doing that. There's always a market for floorboards. People, um, people want them because they look nice. People don't want to make them because they're a pain in the butt. Uh, so, But instant tip, don't finish the floorboard. Leave mm -hmm. one nail out. Oh, that's right. They take like three or four nails or something. Whatever. Leave a nail out. Because uh, this is why if you, you can put more than, but right now, you can put almost an unlimited amount of floorboards inside of a large cart. Not an unlimited. So I'm, 
That's but the wrong way of thinking it. You can fit as many as fit in, in a large cart. Like, it's uh, in the hundreds. But yeah, I would say if in you the finish... You could put it in the thousands for sure. Yeah, but we don't want to give away every secret. <laughs> no, it's just kidding. We will. We will in a future episode. Yeah, future episode. <laughs> but, yeah, you can fit a lot of unfinished floorboards in a large cart to transport them. But you can't... But if you finish them, I don't even know if they go in there. And if they do, it's not that many. So what you do is you take... You, you don't finish the floorboard. You bring them to somebody's... You bring them to somebody's, like, uh, house along with that extra material. Wow, it's really... Really like the still. nail. Like the nail. Mm -hmm. As well. And then you finish it there. Yeah. And that's how this you is transport the way that, them. This is, this is a transport trick. Like, just for... It's um, a general transport trick for anything that doesn't fit in large carts and stuff like that. And for anything that is that you would have that to you continue. Can, so, yeah. like, it's something that you're constructing. Unfinished you're putting in like, items. Like uh, rafts is another one. People want to buy a hundred rafts from you. Uh, yeah, you are not going to be fitting a hundred rafts into a large cart unless they're all unfinished. So you can leave fit out seven. Yeah, you can fit seven. So leave out uh, a nail or leave out a shaft or something, and you can fit. You can fit very like a ton of these unfinished things in there. Again, we'll 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 give away a few of these uh, tips and tricks in a future episode. Probably calling it tips and tricks. <laughs> yeah, we, we'll, we'll show you guys in the future at some point. But we... And let's go into roofs, because I think that got cut. Okay. Oh, With okay, roofs I'll right see. now... <laughs> okay, well, I'm just talking about yeah. the way that it is right now. Okay. I mean, we saw what happened. We finished about half the house, and then, poof, we have a roof. Yep, yeah, auto roof. That's it. Auto roof. It's called the auto roof, or the whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. So what happens? What's going to happen? By the time you watch this video, how is it going to be? Well, first of all, I'd have to say, like, I've always hated this roof. <laughs> I don't know about you, but... Just it always it. I mean, has seriously. looked quite dingy, I must say. I mean, yeah, like the the what the issue is is that the the walls have gotten um, an update or two, and unfortunately the these lamps are on, and that's these lamps should not be on. We can snuff them. <laughs> Go snuff them. Apparently, I cannot because oh. you're the one that planted them. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's okay. That's okay. So keep talking about roofs. Yeah, so I mean, they're they're planning on implementing uh, a new roof system in which you pretty much have to build the roof yourself, tile mm -hmm. by tile. So when you finish the house, the roof will still not be there. It'll be open roof and you have to collect materials uh, to build those roofs. Now, this is gonna allow you to customize different type of roof. I think they have a thatched roof, um, a clay roof. Like a bunch of different kinds. Yeah, a, couple, a bunch of different kinds so that you can customize it. And this is great for Worm because, you know, it's really... It's all about customization. All about customization. You know, when you when we started out, and, and even now, it, like there's really like this wood house and there's the stone house, and you go around and you pretty much, that's what you see, wood houses or wood stone Wood or houses. stone. And you can dye them. But yep. other than that, wood or stone. But now you have like arched, arched archways and uh, yeah, like all these they, crazy they've things. They've definitely they've added a bunch more different kinds of walls since we started. And the, the roofs are going to be something completely new. Like it's just going to look great. And uh, one thing that that I I think that they're going to be including with multi-story is uh, um, terraces. So you come out of your second story of your house. There's a door, and you walk out to the roof of your first story. So you mean you like a balcony? It's kind of like a balcony. It doesn't stick out like a balcony would, but it's like a... I think they're calling it a It terrace. sticks in like a game of... Uh, what's it called? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Like a game of Jenga. Come on. Oh, okay. Jenga. <laughs> sure. Yeah, but I mean, these things are just great for. But for that visual aid, it's like. It's like I uh, took a piece off the top. <laughs> yeah, can... I'm not sure if you can like make it have a roof that overhangs another like an open spot. I don't like like a, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, wouldn't that make sense? I don't think that you can have it exactly. Like that. At least that's not my understanding. We'll see when everything comes out. But, uh... I assume you can, and this would be a little trick. I I don't know. This is just off the top of my head. Let's mm -hmm. say you build on the second story. You make the walls arched walls, and then you build inner walls. Okay, I can see that. Uh -huh. That makes it kind of like a sure a terrace. Sure, but I don't think that you're gonna have a uh, uh, like the way that they're talking. It sounds like you need to support your upper. Um, stories. And it's something we can't test right now. Yeah. But anyway, it sounded like every story above had to be smaller than, or somewhat, not necessarily 100% smaller, but uh, smaller or equal size to the one above, below it. Yeah, to tell you the truth, like you, you said, you, you read the description on what they think it's going to be. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand any of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Actually, a lot of that stuff went over my head, too. I think it has to do... And I was reading a thread that somebody was also really confused, and I... I don't know. I'm we'll sure it will out. not be confused in our multi-story <laughs> episode when... We will make sense of it, yeah. We make sense of it at that time. Now. Ooh. Okay, so I think we, we just covered roofs pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. they will I mean once once the update happens and you can make the different kinds of roofs I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work but and I, I don't know if we know the, the types of materials and that sort of thing do you know if or has anything been brought up on how it's going to look when you make a roof? Mm. Uh, from what I've the, the images I've seen, which are probably are we gonna be on the roof really making it. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think you make it from below. Uh, that's only my guess, so. Well, guess what? But we do know, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna post it right here. Sure. There, that's Future how you do it. Well. That's how you do it. Right, right there. there. And yeah. it's, you know, uh, what do you think about that? <laughs> I think I think it's great the way that they do it like that. Yeah. Huh? Awesome. I mean, they could have gone another way. <laughs> it could have gone this way. It could have gone that way. I, uh, <laughs> but, you know, overall. Overall, I think bottom line, like way. From the images that I've seen, the roofs are going to be sort of peaked. Mm. Uh, and uh, they're going to be automatically peaked so that it depends on how wide the base is. So if you is. have a giant house, you're going to have a giant roof. I wonder if that's going to make it so... I mean, that's actually kind of cool. I really like that. Uh, because inside the house, wouldn't it look like giant? You'd have like the biggest roof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the inside. Yeah. It would look like a giant castle roof thing. And hopefully my claustrophobia will be gone. <laughs> then we can put our stuff inside houses. Yeah, sure. Hey, I will build you a house that has <laughs> complete archways all the way around with a giant roof. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll store all of our stuff in there. And then, <laughs> and then yeah, none of our bulk be... storage bins or any of our supplies will decay as fast as they do now. Seven by nine, that'll be the house that I want. Is that possible, seven by nine? You're gonna make me work for it? <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, and if it is, we've got measly skills, I don't know if I can build something like that. And you're the math guy, I, I don't know, what, what would that make? 
I, I think you would need to imp your skill a little bit more than it is to get a 7x9. And you're gonna make me just mm -hmm. do the most. Oops. Alright, so how are you doing on that side? Not well. I can see you're quite a bit farther ahead than I am. Do you have any One. more planks? Yep. I got planks. How many do I need? Oh, I need a lot. There's not enough planks on that side? No. Yeah, I might not have distributed them right nicely. You can come and help me here. I guess so. I guess I will. I'll start on this side. Okay. Alright, so we've talked about floors. We've talked about roofs. Now... What is there left? We've we've talked about houses in almost two full episodes. Mm -hmm. Is there even anything more to talk about for houses? Probably, but I can't think of it at the moment. I mean, yeah. One thing that I really would like to see in Worm is. Um, more textures. Oh, perfect. Let's do that. Let's talk about, and I keep hitting the destroy wall button. Because <laughs> of the amount Stop. of times you <laughs> hit it over there. Yeah. Okay, so perfect, perfect thing. Yeah. Why don't we talk about everything we want to see change about houses? Mm hmm. Go. Yeah, there's so much. I mean, I, I understand that the development team is. Um, yeah, but let's say, okay, we're, we're talking like if they had Fantasy a dream land? team. Yeah, Fantasyland, they had a dream yeah. team of developers, and they could add whatever we wanted. Yeah, they have hundreds we're the of millions of dollars to spend <laughs> on hiring a massive team. Because let's yeah. say we're, we're like the players that they listen to <laughs> and only listen to us. Yeah, that's exactly So we're like, right. this is what we want. Yeah. Go. Well, I would want different style wall so like sure I like the colors of this wood I like the, the layout of this wood but I want to choose between five different styles where each style looks slightly differently maybe windows that are taller windows that are wider windows that are in different positions uh, lots of customization on each individual wall and um, you know same goes with the stone uh, maybe that crown molding can have different styles or uh, you know just just different styles to choose from uh, when you place down each individual wall because as it stands now every single wall looks pretty much the same like sure you can have a window sure you can have a door but when it comes down to it if you're outside looking at this particular house it's gonna look the exact same as you know your neighbor's house practically mm -hmm. So yeah. More okay, so that that's one. For me, and I know that they they were been talking about it. I know you can dye walls, mm. but I don't want to dye the whole wall. I want to dye parts of the wall. I want to dye. See this? See this wood right here? I want to dye this wood and this frame a color, but I want to leave the rest not a color. I want it to be more of. Uh, like you, know, you have the paintbrush and you're going to yeah. paint this spot. Yeah, yeah. I want it to be more like that. Uh, and luckily they they have talked about it and it's been brought up before. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping for that eventually. Uh, I'm hoping for more options for houses, like management options. Mm, management options. We had the biggest problem building... <laughs> That's all right. I sound so serious. We have mm -hmm. the biggest problem building our labyrinth because we wanted to build houses in the labyrinth, mm -hmm. but we wanted some doors to be open and some doors to be locked. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. No. You either invite everyone in or particular people in every door or you invite them in or you don't invite them in at all. Those are yeah. your two options. And I want, I want to have every single door in a house 
to have the ability to allow people through or not. Now that's because something just that because I let people about. in through the front door doesn't mean I want them to go through the back. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's something that they were talking about, and the way they described it was they're gonna make each door be the same as a mine door. Where mine doors, you have the ability like that of putting idea. a specific name. Feyran can enter this door. I like that. I like the idea of being able just going to the door and allowing people or ha having options for that door only. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Like, yeah. I really hope that, that that happens because that's yeah. it's one of the things that I really want. It uh, makes it so that you can like because now there's interior walls. Uh, you can put an interior wall, and it's like your um, what do you call it? Your safe or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Right now you can do that, but everyone can walk in, <laughs> or nobody can come in the house. Or at all. no one can come in the entire <laughs> house at all. Uh, yeah. What other thing do we want? I want more houses. Right now we have stone, wood. What do you want, teepees? <laughs> <laughs> do I want a teepee? Uh, I want more variety. Why is it... Why is the wood well, house... Okay, I can argue against that one because seriously, in... in Come on. If, if you want to make a realistic house, like, what else could you... Okay, maybe log cabin. A that log be, cabin, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, log cabin. But, but other than that, like, historically, what other houses would there have been? You're talking history. This is a I'm fantasy talking land. I'm talking <laughs> realism. Like, look around you at the resources that we have. What resource would you make? Okay, out? based on the thing, the the resources that we have, mm -hmm. we've seen. Aren't aren't there houses made out of just like, uh, not straw, but <laughs> <laughs> okay, grass, a grass, grass house. a thatched house. Okay, a house like that's that's shaft. easier to make than wood, but give you less benefit. Are you carrying the rest of the? Uh, I have thirty planks. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you sure you picked up all of the ones that we needed? I believe there might be some still in the bulk storage bin. I hope so. I brought four hundred or something. I think we had one. We now. needed five hundred and twenty. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. You're the one that wrote this down. Why am I? I wrote down four eighty. You wrote down four eighty. Oh, that's we have says, right? tons more. We have tons more. I am taking. I thought I brought four eighty. I'm taking oh. another. Oh, you're oh. shaking. Ooh. You know what? My video um, program does not like me going in this mine. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened last time. I don't think you're you're not shaking on your screen, right? No. No. Just on just on the video the recording. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the game, that has to do with my computer and something funny going on with the software. Mm-hmm. You have enough to finish that side, right? Yep. Meaning I really <laughs> brought too many. Oh. That's fine. But maybe I can just drop how how many more do I need? Sixty, right? Mm hmm. I just dropped fifty. And I'm gonna drop eight more. Alright, so now I can put the horses back over here. I think I'm gonna hit my refresh. So another thing that I want to see in houses, not necessarily related to the construction of the house, but um, related to the furnishing of the house. I want to see more items that can be placed inside your house um, to make it look nice. They have added uh, weapon racks, armor stands, and that sort of thing, and I've seen some pretty creative designs inside, but I still feel limited in what I can place in the house. Uh, for example, there's one kind of table. It's like a standard table. Uh, there's yeah. a couple kind of chairs, but maybe, maybe I guess I want to see a, a newer update, updated models for them. But they kind of look kind of crappy. Oh, uh, this is this is me. I want to see things 
uh, being able to hang up on walls. I want to mm, see things to be able to hang up on ceilings. Mm. Lamps that hang from the ceilings or something, or lamps that That'd go nice. into walls, or... Now there's a fix for that, like, I mean, not, like, not a fix, what is it, a workaround for, for lamps that come out of the walls? I could show you this, uh, this we'll hanging lamp. We'll do that later. Yeah, yeah, maybe in another episode. I'm but. pretty sure it only works in stone walls. I could be wrong. Uh, you could probably get it in a nice spot. Looks like it's coming right out of the wall. But just more decorations. More decorations, uh, yeah. And if we're just talking in general about things that we want to see added in the house, I want to see, like, vases. Mm. This would be perfect they, for I updating... I read that they're, that, they're in, that they're putting flower pots. Yeah, but my idea is that they, they take vases... Mm. Wait, did we just finish? We just finished. Okay, I'm going to finish my thought off on vases. Right. You allow you allow clay makers or uh, potters, I guess, to build three different kinds of or sizes of vases, vases, and they are containers. They are containers just like chests are containers. Okay. Uh, and you can place them in your house and they all look like really cool. They can have different designs and stuff. You can place mm. things in them. You can place flowers in them and it'll look nice. Flowers mm. sticking out. Uh, and so they're not just for decoration. They also have usefulness. And you, you give, you know, other things that potters can actually do. Mm -hmm. Pottery is a pretty limited um, <laughs> skill. There, There's more not really containers, more decoration, and... You give a, a, a crafting uh, profession more items. Yeah. It's a win-win. Win-win-win. There you go. And right. we finished this house, didn't we? Yeah. I well, I mean, well, there is one other thing that we should do, and that's the interior walls. Oh, the interior walls. Now that the house is done. So here you go. Now that the house is done. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it wouldn't work until the house is done. You can build interior walls mm -hmm. so let's do that do you remember what kind of walls we wanted was it stone or I think was it stone wood? stone yeah. do we have enough mortar here in bricks right, these, then in these I piles? need to switch up what I got yeah I think there's enough here there's 24 there and remember you're not allowed to start these because what of your mean? mistakes you're yeah. not you're not allowed right. to start these I yeah. have to start them so yeah, started, yeah. we're doing two. Question: Where do you want your uh, your door? Inside, here, or out um, here? Inside. Let's do it inside. This one. Okay. Yep. So now that the house is done, any of these tile borders inside your house can be turned into a wall. They will not let you start it if your house is incomplete. So our house is incomplete. We should have had a little bit more of a cheer than, than we really did. But Yay! <laughs> there you go. Yay! Uh, <laughs> more work. Uh, Take a drink of beer. You can build fences inside of a house now. Oh, really? Does that change our plan? Mm. This is brand new development that we were not able to do before. Like... I don't know. We haven't built a house in months. Who knows when you could have started? This. But, <laughs> but I don't you, think that you, changes our plan. You can build a it house. Does add more options for inside these parts. Wait, there's a new option called Get Info. Do I dare check what that means? <laughs> I'm doing it. Get Info. It didn't work because it's probably a bug or something. Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. so it doesn't change. I'm just going to list this out because this is brand new information. We can build a wooden fence inside this house. A wooden parapet. <laughs> parapet. Am I saying that right? Yeah, parapet. What is a parapet? I, I have no idea. I can figure that out. Parapet. A parapet is a wall-like barrier at the edge of a roof terrace, balcony, or other structure. Ah, that's Ooh. for multi-story stuff. Yeah, we've never seen that before. No, they're adding these things in. They sneak them in and... <laughs> they don't tell us. Yeah. A low stone wall, a tall stone wall, 
a stone parapet, and an iron fence. So that's pretty cool that they allowed mm -hmm. you to do that. And this is something that they're adding because of multi-story. So, I don't know. doesn't change our plan, does it? No. <laughs> Instead, I am planning a wall here. I am planning a wall here. Double, all right. I will make a double door. Give me a second. So now that I planned it, I have to actually start the double door. And this one's going to be uh, another window. You claustrophobic person. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, I'll start the other side. Plan a couple more walls. Guess I'll do the same thing on this side. Alright, so I'll help you over here. Well, that's great. That's great that we get to see all these, all these changes, even though they didn't quite announce them yet. Mm -hmm. Did you just take all the mortar? Uh, just from that pile, I oh, guess. Oh, there's some, some over here. Yeah, I don't know. What What do you think about that? I'm kind of excited to see... What Can you think um, of anything off the top of your head, maybe, that now that that adds? For example, better stables? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a good point. Better stables, better lots of things, I mean... What, why else would you need, like, sort of half walls or, like, fences inside of a house? If you want to section off uh, little areas without actually putting a full wall up, that you can put, like, a half wall, so you can still see over the wall, but uh, it sections it off. Uh, like, if you want to put a little bedroom, but, you know... You can That's see right. that bedroom from the just, rest of the place. You know, to top it off, it's just more variety. More variety. It's so exactly, it, more customization. It's exactly what this game needs. It'll be interesting to see how people decide to use it to create, you know, creative things. You know, there's a thread on the farm right now where people are posting their interior design. And while some of them are rightfully cool... Um, I can only imagine the type of interior design that people are going to be able to design with the new, the new stuff. It's, it's just going to be, cool. be so much better. The more customization they give us, these tools, we create. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm That's, That's the great. point of this game. Give us tools, and we use those tools to create. So thank you for that. So far. That's mm -hmm. that's a uh, pleasant. A pleasant thing to come by <laughs> during mm -hmm. our video. I must say. Do you have any more stone bricks? There we go. I wonder if a building would allow you to build without putting a door. I've actually tried that before. Yeah. And the answer is no. Okay. Well, that's nice. You need to have a door. Yep. It's nice of them to let you trap yourself <laughs> inside of your building. Or made it so you you can't trap yourself inside of a building. That's what I, yeah. <laughs> Did I not say that? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's getting late. Wow, yeah. I'm moving really slow. Yep. <laughs> if I was smart, I'd just drop these bricks. I'm going to drop them in the cart and then walk a bunch. Uh, <laughs> I walked too far away. Wait, you don't have any bricks over there, do you? Uh, just what I can carry. So I'm going to transfer some bricks into the cart. Mm -hmm. so Getting so close to being done. There's some mortar over here. here. If oh, that's yeah. an issue. Although I do, ha I do have enough. Okay. Oops. Oop. Wow, these lamps are very bright, I must say. Yeah. They are blinding me. Lamps are great in nighttime. Horrible during the daytime. Mm-hmm. Alright, so to finish your thought on things that you would like to see that's not in the game. More In general or related to houses? Related to houses. I want to see not only more types of floors, 
but the ability to alter the types of floors that you have in the game. Mm. For example, they have multiple different wall types. You have one stone wall, but then you have multiple variations of that stone wall. I Why, see. So you want you know, like same thing for floors, floorboards, but you want five different types of wooden floorboards. As many as different types as you possibly can get. I am out of stones again. You know what I mean? You have so let's let's use floorboards as an example. So wooden floorboards. How about different kinds of wood? Uh, mm -hmm. Different kinds of looks. That's one thing that they have capability of making different kinds of wood for certain items, but they don't do it for floors. They don't do it for houses. I don't know why. They, they could do that. More customization. I mean, I think all of our all of our like uh, requests are mainly requests for more customization. Because with that comes all uh, just tons and tons of of different variations of it, it's the essence of the game mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the essence of the game is being able to give us as many tools as we can possibly as many different ways to do things agreed oh I well one last order. thing that we're gonna have to do is to get a door lock forgot about that to get door locks eh, we'll get it in the next episode we'll have a door lock all right how much how much more does it need over there it I think I'm holding the last one what's needed three two I did not take so I did not take the bricks. All right, there we go. All right, Done. we did it. We built oh. a house. Okay, now you can cheer. Yay! We're so tired, but we <laughs> did it. We built a house oh. in a very bright house, lit with lamps all over. Because it was nighttime. Nice. Uh, let's get a good vantage point of this house. Ugh. Back up, back up. It's like the same vantage point as two episodes ago. Ah, oh, look at that. Nice. That is a great looking house. Mm hmm. Now all I have to do is decorate around it. Yeah, it's a little rough. All we did was a house. We didn't do the floors. We didn't decorate all around it. Use this little thing. And you know what? That's the next episode. Mm -hmm. Floors, fences. What else can you Decorations. think of? Decorations. Decorations. All that good stuff. And you know what? Until then, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs>